Life Consulting is a HR consulting uh, company as well as a training company. We do HR consulting services and we also offer corporate training to different uh, organizations. So we do a myriad of HR services. We do performance management consulting. We do career development, talent management, learning and development. We can craft your training programs for you. We do organization development um, work. We also do recruitment services. We do uh, we do culture and change assessments and also change management um, consultancies. In addition, our training covers uh, all areas of leadership development and management uh, trainings. We also do sales training, which other people call business development training. We do customer experience training and we do training across all HR areas that I have mentioned. So you're welcome to engage with Delight Consulting. I'll be sharing our... Um, our website, a link to our website, I'll be sharing all that in the chat section as we proceed. So feel free to just uh, get some of those details and then you can be able to reach out or maybe check out the live consulting after the training. I will also be sharing an email address which you can use to directly contact uh, the live consulting should you need should you be in need of any of the services that I have mentioned. We also have a company called Scholapark that works together with Delight Consulting that does education consulting services. I will be able again to share all this detail as we proceed. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. And um, at this juncture, I would like to welcome our trainer of the day, Christine Ogola. So Christine is a seasoned trainer with Delight Consulting. Uh, she has trained here before and she continues to train. She has an MBA in healthcare management. She has in the past worked as a business development expert at McNaughton and also at Pfizer. She has been very much involved in uh, training and marketing of pharmaceutical products in the past. And she now is a, a seasoned trainer with Delight Consulting. I will welcome Christine Ogola to take us through the topic of the day, which is character development. Welcome, Christine. Thank you so much for that intro introduction, Karen, and thanks everyone for joining us for this training. It's always a pleasure to, to talk to people and to train on various aspects of business and various aspects of HR. I'm so delighted uh, that you're here today. And today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic that is relevant to all of us and that is relevant in our career and even our personal life, and that is character development. So before I even start this training, I just want to also remind you that this is a very interactive session. Kindly interact with us in the chat section. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, anything at all that you need to contribute to the training, kindly feel free and share that in the in the chat section and then we'll we'll get to uh, answer or we'll get to interact with you as the training continues. Uh, today as i mentioned we're going to talk about character development how to become a very highly effective individual most of the times we don't feel very effective in our lives and uh, this is going to help us. This training is going to help us to know going forward how to overcome this. So we are going to start by talking about personal mastery, how as an individual you can develop, develop your personal character, how you can develop your inner strength and even your purpose and your values. And you're also going to talk about effective relationship with others, how we, are we, we can develop or build quality uh, a relationship with other people around us, be it your co-workers, be, be it your family, your friends. Uh, the training is going to help us uh, do this. And then we're also going to learn how to continuously improve ourselves to be highly effective individuals. All right. So we'll start. So most of the times we don't feel really effective in either in our career. We at times, we don't seem to measure up to our creative and very ambitious co-workers. At times, we tend to feel bad about ourselves. In our personal lives, you question yourself, where is where am I going in life? You know, how what am I doing about my career? What about, am I doing about my finances? What am I doing about my relationship? At times, we generally don't have that feeling of like we we are we are 
enough or we measure up in different areas of our lives. And we really want to be effective and we really want to be productive in various aspects of our lives. So this training is going to help us know how to overcome these feelings of inadequacy or, or these feelings of not being effective. So let's just start by knowing how many of us often feel ineffective in various aspects of your lives, be it your career, be it your social lives, be it your families, be it your schoolwork. How many of us often feel that you don't measure up most of the times you feel ineffective? I think Karen will put up the polls. Have you managed to put up the polls, Karen? Yes, you should be able to see the poll. Wow, so 81% of, of the people have said yes. They often feel ineffective in, in their career. They often feel ineffective in their social lives. They often feel ineffective in their schoolwork or physical lives. But uh, three, I mean three people, that is 19% of the people have said no. They don't feel ineffective in these areas of our life. So you see majority of us often feel ineffective and that's why we are here to know how to move forward from here. Early last year when there was corona, coronavirus, most of the things were at a standstill in our lives. And same, same here, most of the things were at a standstill. I had a lot of time, a lot of time to think about uh, my, my the different areas of my life and to think about my career. And I came across this book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And I had enough time. I had quite a lot of some time. And I read this book. I went through this book and I really liked this book. I keep on recommending this book. I don't know many of us have read it, but if you haven't, it's very accessible. You can find it a uh, soft copy. You can even buy it a uh, hard copy so that you can read. I really like this book because it focuses more on character as a foundation for success in every areas of our lives. It focuses more on building character rather than building personality. Most of the times we pay much attention on building on our personalities, but we ignore character, which is the foundation of our, our, our basic principle. So let's look at what is character. What am I talking about when I talk about character and what is personality? So basically personality is what others observe and what others see when we interact with them. These are our words. These are how we dress, how we appear, our deeds, how we talk. You know, but character is, is a sum of underlying principles, underlying beliefs, our values. It is invisible. Character cannot be seen. Character is our moral principles. Character ethics is basically our moral principles that are distinctive to an individual, while personality is what a person identifies with when they, they interact with others or in different situations. Personality is our public image. Personality is how we interact, how we communicate, our appearances, while character is, are things like integrity, are things like courage, are things like humility. And most of the times, uh, car, uh, personality sorry, can be seen as fake if it's not uh, rooted in our character. So character is, is our, our, you know, the invisible, the underlying moral principles that are very distinctive to us as an individual. So like I mentioned, personalities is how we appear to be, while character on the other hand is how we actually are, who we actually are. So personal character is like integrity, is like our compassion, our courage, justice, and all those underlying uh, principles that we have. Let's take an example of an iceberg. Uh, character is, is beneath, beneath the surface of, you know, a, a iceberg, the bulk of it is below the surface of the water. And that is our character. It cannot be seen, but it is the bulk of what we have we have, it is the bulk of what makes us great or, or what makes us successful. Well, personality is just a tip of the iceberg. It's what people see and what people 
what people can see. And we can always fake it if it's not rooted in our character. So this training is basically going to focus on how do we develop our inner self? How do we develop our character, our values and our purpose as an individual? So when in developing character, uh, there are three things that I mentioned earlier that we are going to pay attention to. This is personal mastery. How we are, are we going to develop ourselves as an individual? How are we going to develop our character? And how are we going to develop our purpose and our values? And also effective relationship with others and also continuous improvement. How do we as individuals continually improve ourselves. Personal mastery is about I. How do I improve myself as an individual? Effective relationship with others is a team attitude. How do we as a team improve ourselves? So we'll start with personal mastery. We'll start with personal mastery. So in the in the book by Stephen Covey, the seven the habits of a highly effective individuals. We have seven habits, and the first three habits they focus on our personal mastery, how we develop ourselves. It, the, these three habits move us from being a dependent individual to an independent individual. They help you become more effective as an individual. They help you develop your inner strength and your inner character. And these three habits are being proactive, beginning with the end in mind and putting first things first. So we'll see each and every one of these habits as the training continues. So let's start with being proactive, the very first habit. How do you become proactive? We have two different types of individuals. We have reactive individuals and proactive individuals. Reactive individuals complain about the circumstances that they do not have control over. On the other hand, proactive individuals focus on the things that they have control over and they oh, many at times they take responsibilities of the things they have control over. So sometimes we, we often come across situations that we do not have control over as individuals and proactive people often understand this. We have something that we call a circle of, of concern and a circle of influence. A circle of concern are the things that as individuals we do not have control over. These are other people's opinions. These are other people's mistakes. These are other what other people think about us. These are things like weather, politics. That we totally don't have control over them. Reactive people focus on these things. They focus on the things that they do not have control over. They focus on the circle of concern. We also have uh, as the circle of influence, which is the inner circle. These are the things that we have control over them. These are your, your, your opinion as an individual, your mistakes, your hobbies, your habits, the skills that you can learn. So proactive people, uh, focus on these things. They focus on these things, the things that they have control over. They focus on their attitudes. They focus on changing their behaviors. They focus on their hobbies and every other thing that they have control over. So this book is basically encouraging us to be proactive individuals, to focus on the things that we have control over, not to complain about the circumstances that we don't have control over. Let's take an example of our work. Let's say you didn't deliver your target or you didn't deliver your task as required. What will a reactive uh, person do? A reactive person will blame uh, their underachievement on either their boss or their colleagues or the situation or the task itself. A proactive person, on the other hand, will take ownership and will uh, ask themselves, what can I do to improve myself going forward. So basically for us to be to to be effective uh, effective individuals and to have to develop our character we need to move from being reactive to being proactive. Ask yourself currently what type of a person am I? Am I a reactive individual or am I a proactive individual? If I'm a reactive individual what should I do to move from being reactive to being proactive, okay? So con uh, 
talk to us on the chat and tell us uh, the type of person who are, you are. Are you a reactive or a proactive individual? And if you are a reactive individual, what are you planning to do to move from being reactive to being proactive? Okay. So we'll go to the next habit, which is being uh, beginning with the end in mind. For us to be effective, we have to know our destination. So you need to know where you're going first and work towards it. Take an example, if you want to travel to uh, another country, or if you want to travel somewhere else, you need to have a map or you need to have your destination, the country that you want to go to and have a plan on how you want to go there. Same to our lives. We need to ask ourselves in 10 or uh, 15 years from now, where do I want to be? And then work towards it. Ask yourself, what do I want in life? What do I want to achieve? Ask yourself, where do I see myself? Where do I want to be in 5, 10, 15 years from now? So you need to have a destination in mind. Ask yourself in 15 years, I want to be such a, in such a, such a place and break it down into smaller milestones. For example, if you want to be a homeowner in, in 10 years or in 15 years from now, you need to ask yourself in five years, what should I have done so that I achieve my goals in 15 years? Maybe by in five years time, I should have bought land. In 10 years time, I should have done this and this, maybe foundation or something. So that in the in, in 15 years time, you would have achieved your goal. So effective people always have know what they want to do in the next uh, years to come, and then they work towards it. Dream big. You know, most of the times uh, we hold ourselves back. Self-doubt hold us back. So you need to dream big and don't let, uh, don't hold yourself back. Don't let self-doubt get into your way. Because most of the times we ask ourselves, uh, am I enough? Am I smart enough? And most of the times they think the thing that holds us back is ourselves. We need to realize that anything is possible and therefore we need to define what we want in life and work towards it. You know, we are the programmers of our lives. We write our own script. So don't let yourself get you onto the way of achieving your goals. And you also need to know what your passion is. Ask yourself, what is my passion? What do I want to be remembered for? Do I just want to work, make money and die? Or I want to add value to the to the society. I want to uh, contribute something to the life. Most of the time, we ask ourselves, "What is life giving me?" You know, and instead of asking yourself, "What can I give life? What can I give back?" So you also have to need to come up with a personal mission statement. And your personal mission statement can be as simple as, "I want to. I want the world to be better because I was here." You know, just make a personal mission. Statement and anything that you do, whether it's in your career, in your business, whether it's in your relationship, whether it's in your, in your friendship, anything that you're doing, make it revolve around your mission statement. Okay, so I personally want to be remembered for, uh, personally always have a passion of uh, making an impact in as many uh, school kids, as many children as possible, because um, most of them, I know that most students cannot afford a decent education. And as a beneficiary of, of uh, being educated myself, I just want many, many other people to have a chance at, at an education and to have a chance at a decent uh, life. So have something that you're passionate about and also contribute because these are the things that give you purpose as an individual. Don't just uh, work, get money, buy things, do shopping and die. I have an impact in the world as well to be an effective individual. So let's talk about the third habit. The third habit is taking steps, taking steps or taking action that is required to realize your vision. So once you have a vision, you have a dream, you're dreaming big, what are you doing to ensure that this vision is realized? Don't just sit on your dream, work towards it. Examine your daily routine, examine your daily habits and see whether they are contributing to your overall goal okay so you need to focus on the most important things put your priorities right and spend 
less time uh, on the things that are unnecessary, on the things that are coming on your way. So prioritize, focus on your important thing. Is it your health? Do you want to improve your health and become healthy? Is it your business? Is it your career? Is it your, your relationship or is it your education? So prioritize and put important things first. There's these uh, uh, four quadrants that categorize the things that are urgent and the things that are important. So you need to uh, an effective individual and a proactive individual focuses on things that are important and things that are yeah, things that are either important and urgent or reported and not urgent. The things that are urgent and important, you need to manage them because these are crises. These are, uh, you know, upcoming deadlines, meaningful deadlines. You need to manage them so that they don't get out of hand. The things that are important and not urgent, you need to focus on them. These are your relationship. This is your career. This is your, your, your health. You need to focus on them and pay little uh, much attention on the things that are not important because these are time wasters. These are things that come into your way, your obstacle in achieving your goals. Okay, so that is it. The first three, uh, the first three habits are for personal mastery, developing yourself as an individual, having, uh, developing your character, developing your inner strength. This is being proactive, being a proactive individual, uh, focusing on the things that you have control over, your habits, your attitude, anything that you can control, the skills that you can learn, focus on those ones. And also have uh, uh, having an end in mind, know where you want to be in the next years to come and work towards them, putting first things first, prioritizing on the things that are important and, put, and uh, shunning distractions, uh, avoiding the things that are not very important. So the next uh, thing that we are going to look at is building effective relationship with others. How can we form a meaningful relationship with others? Remember, your relationship with others is always a reflection of the relationship that you have with yourself. So you need to uh, work on your relationship first. You need to know yourself first. You need to build yourself first for you to have a quality and meaningful relationship with other people. 